Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys, I am getting on today to talk about whether we are living in the past, like living in the moment, right? Or are we living in our rear view mirror, right? Are we living in the past, like in our rear view mirror, or are we living in the present, which is honestly where all of our power is? So for those of you that are new to me, hello, hello, hello. My name is Brooke Sidney. I'm the owner of a company called Bella and the Babe, which is all about empowering authentic and mindful motherhood. But basically what I do is I help tired and overwhelmed moms love their lives, feel more time, and then have a moment to say thank you. So I'm here to do that today. I'm here to talk about really a personal story. It's a very personal story, but I thought that it would help at least someone understand um, the value of living in the present. So for those of you that are watching me on my Instagram stories, right? If you're watching my Instagram stories, you will have maybe a little window into what's going on in my life at this moment. But basically my beloved car is in the shop, okay? My beloved car is in the shop. And so I make I make jokes, but seriously though, I am truly attached to my car. And I know I'm not the only mama out there that has the car with everything in it. Like I've got everything that I can prepare for like the worst case scenario, my son's toys. Oh my gosh, the back seat is a mess. It needs to be totally cleaned out, right? The car is a freaking mess, but it's still my car. And it is like a comfort zone, right? So anyway, to make a long story short about the car is that I had to go get a loaner car so that my car could be serviced. So if you're following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me, um, Carmel Bella. It's all things me, my son, um, mindful mothering, all that stuff. But my Instagram stories are really where I often share a lot about what's going on. So um, I had to go and pick up my loaner car so that my car can go into the shop. But I know you're wondering like, why is our car in the shop? Like what happened, right? So here's where it's kind of hard to share, but I'm gonna be real and tell you guys the truth. So over the past two or so weekends, <clears throat> I've had to do a lot of co-parenting. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I mean, in many respects, to be keep, to keep it totally 100, I've had to deal with my ex and the father of my child, my ex-husband and the father of my child, more than we like interacted when we were married, right? And so what that has done for me, if I'm really honest and I'm being transparent here, is it's brought up ambivalence, it's brought up like emotions, because I don't know um, if you've been through a divorce, but divorce is hard, especially if you have children. And whether or not, and I know that it was, whether or not divorce was the right thing for you and your family, it still doesn't matter about how it ends up still being hard. Like it is totally hard. It's a major change in your life. And it's been a major change in my life and quite truthfully, what I thought my life would look like. That's not to say that I don't love the life that I have now and that I'm not um, that I've not become better instead of bitter. If you heard me talk about that, it still doesn't matter. At some points in our life, we'll have what I call like reflection periods. And so I realized hmm, that I was living in this reflection period. I was rerunning old, some old stories. I was talking about, um, oh, just so much stuff that dealt with him that it was bringing up a lot of thoughts, ambivalence, and quite truthfully, some sadness, some grief, because it was a loss. Good or bad, it was a loss. So, you know, that is the truth of where I've been living probably for the past two weeks, especially with my son's birthday, and just so much going on, so much goodness going on, but then also so much opportunity to look backwards, like look at the past. So then guess what happens? <laughs> Guess what happens? On Saturday, I am driving just to go grit, just to go grab something quickly to eat. And someone literally hits my driver's side rear mirror. Not enough to break it, right? So the rear view mirror wasn't broken, 
it was like, I heard this beep, and it like, it definitely jostled me. I was like, oh my goodness. And, but it was, it was not, it was not bad enough where I was like, oh my God, my car is in a wreck, right? But enough to be like, oh my gosh, I wonder how my mirror is. So my, my rear view mirror kind of folded in on that side. So, wow, I get, I get to my home. I look at the rear view mirror. It did what it was supposed to do, you know, fold in. So then I like folded it out. It looked basically like it was untouched, okay? It looked untouched. And I was like, hmm. The mirror is untouched. My car is basically undamaged. But, you know, I made, even in that moment, I realized a whole bunch of things, which is why I'm getting on this, why I'm doing this live right now. So the old me would have been like really upset, maybe sad, frustrated, angry even, and honestly, justifiably so. Someone totally hit my rear view mirror. Like I was in my lane and, you know, it's a side street. So they totally came and hit that side mirror. And honestly, the cars were going so fast, I didn't even know who did it. It was like, who done it? Like, I have no idea. So the old me would have been like upset, angry, maybe even falls into a little bit of like victimness, like why is this happening to me? Um, all of that. But instead, like I had my moment of like, don't get me wrong, I had my moment of like, oh, damn. Like, they, like what in the world, right, kind of thing. And then I quickly had a moment of gratitude. And that's kind of what I wanted to really nail home today is kind of how when we are living in the present and we're not living in the past, how our whole viewpoint changes. So instead of being mad and angry and stuck and frustrated about my rear view mirror that just got tapped, essentially, although still requiring me enough to go to the shop, but still tapped, I realized in that moment I had a choice. I had a choice on how I wanted to see it. I had a choice on how I wanted to feel about it. And I had a choice on what I wanted to do. Also, the story that I was going to tell myself. And I don't know about you, but I always feel like, especially when I get this kind of a message that it's like God, spirit, universe, whatever it is for you, I totally, I'm getting tingles right now telling you, I felt like it was spirit because in that moment I was grateful. Okay. I was grateful. I was grateful that it wasn't just, that it was just the rear view mirror, right? And not the whole car. I live in LA. There are traffic accidents, like people are eating, you know, breakfast and lunch, like they're happening every moment. So thank goodness it was my rear view mirror and not my entire car. Second, I was grateful that my son wasn't in the car. Like that could have scared the crap out of him. Or if it had been worse, he could have been harmed. I'm thankful that it wasn't really an accident. It wasn't really. I mean, if so, it's like a baby accident. It's so minor. I'm also thankful that my mirror bounced back. So it was no big time damages. I know there are some damages because now it's not working exactly how it used to, like fully motorized, doing all the, you know, the fancy smancies, but it's not, didn't like fall off my car, right? And then I have to also think, well, goodness, I'm okay. I am okay. Like I wasn't harmed. I also wasn't scared. Like sometimes getting into a crash or an accident, it's not even about what happens to your car, but it was about what happens to you mentally. Like you get shook. I know people now that hate to drive, right? Because of accidents. That wasn't me. None of that came my way, right? I was okay. And then also I knew, and this was such a benefit that whatever went wrong, I could afford to fix it. I could afford to fix it. And so I realized this was spirit. That's how I'm choosing to see it. Just giving me a small reminder, a small tap to stop looking in my rear view mirror, to stop looking in the past. Even if it's just reflecting, I've done enough. I've done enough. I know that I'm in a good space, right? It's a reminder to keep looking ahead and to stay present to this beautiful, this ultra beautiful life that I am so blessed to live. Gosh, I am so fortunate to live the life that I'm living and to reminder that this is a gift, right? There's no point really in looking in the rear view mirror. I mean, unless we need to, right? Unless we're trying to quickly change lanes. We need to understand where we've been so we know where we're going, right? And I've done that. And that was a reminder, you've done that. Brooke Sydney, you've done it. And I know that being where I am right now is helping other women learn how to live in the present and learn how to live mindfully. And this is my work. 
So all of these things that have happened in my life, right, in that rear view mirror to bring me to this present moment, which I am totally grateful for. But on the flip side, mamas, I really want to know, like, are you living in the present or are you living in the past? Like, right. Are you living in your rear view mirror? Right. Are you still like, what does they call it? Um, what is it called? quarterbacking or whatever like you're figuring all that's happened out right now because you have the hind you have the the sight of seeing what happened behind you like are you doing that or are you living in the moment and you know I've learned a lot through my mindfulness practice my mindfulness teaching obviously through my meditation through prayer and journaling right I have learned how to love myself better so that I can love my life so that I can see these benefits see these Things that happened to me, these things that could have been like a huge bump in the, a huge like pothole are now like bumps in the roads, right? So I'm showing up for myself and I'm not dwelling in the past, but you can do that too. You can do that too, right? And I'm here to tell you though, that this thinking and this mindfulness, it didn't happen overnight. And I think a lot of us are free, are really kidding ourselves to think that we are actually viewing our lives that way. And when our lives in front of us don't look the way that we think that they do. And I'm saying that with all sincerity and love um, because this kind of thinking and mindfulness, it didn't happen for me overnight. It has taken work. It has taken time. It has taken support. It has taken others, right? So I just want you to know it's all possible. And even with this crazy rear view mirror situation that happened to me, life is good. It's beautiful. And I'm here right now in the moment. And I'm also here showing up right today to tell you that you can feel this way too. When crappy things happen, you can feel this way too. You'll also be able to see, wow, I know why this happened. Or I feel like I know why it happened. And either way, it's perfect because the story only matters to you, right? So we can change our lives. We can change the way we think and we can find more time and we can love this motherhood journey that we're on and we can always be ourselves, right? We can regather it if we feel like we've lost it, but we can be ourselves. We just need a little mindfulness, help and support. And so I've got you. I've totally got you. If you're not a member of my mama community, come and join. That's where I'm giving all the tips on mindfulness, ways to find more time, especially for mama time and self-care. We're talking about gratitude. We just came off a gratitude challenge and so much more. Join us. The link is in the link is in the notes. And then if you're looking for more personalized and customized support or attention, or you really want to make this your mindfulness year, you really want to shift things in your life, feel more happiness, abundance, then check in with me. I've got Mindful Mama sessions and it's bit.ly forward slash BB Mindful Mama. I'd love for you to join me. Either way, let's connect. I'd love to keep talking about um, whether we're living in the past or we're fully in the present. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Today is Thankful Thursday, and I have so much to be thankful for, and so do you. Talk to you soon.